Hola amigos a todos Bienvenidos, eh, vamos a continuar con el quinto episodio de Regreso al Futuro eh, Y bueno, nos habíamos quedado aquí Ha venido el padre de Doc a intentar impedir que haga su experimento Y bueno, parece que tengo que hablar con ellos No, para ver, a ver qué me había dicho el objetivo Vale, tengo que reconciliarlos eh, Voy a hablar con el padre primero <coughs> you don't think you can shelter him? Maybe Emmett would come out from wherever it is he's hiding if you tried the reasonable approach. This is the reasonable approach. Don't antagonize him. Well, if you're not going to say anything, so he is up there with you. Thanks a lot, son. I order you to come down from there this second. You dare to disobey a direct order? Eh, hablar con dos. Emmett, I'm not talking to him. There's no point. Maybe he'll give you a fair chance to explain yourself. He is a judge, after all. Yes, a judge who's already passed sentence. He won't listen to me. He never has. I'll be right back. I want to speak to my son. Emmett's not ready to talk to you uh, directly. Oh, God. I suppose you're his mouthpiece. I guess so. Yeah. ¿Qué le digo? ¿Que dice que no escucha? ¿O que lo intimida? Yo creo que no se intimida. Solo que el padre no lo escucha. He says it's no use talking to you. You never listen? That only shows how pig-headed he is. Of course I listen. If he can justify his craziness, I'll be only too happy to indulge it. Stay right there. I'm not going anywhere. I'm uh, counting to four. I'm Emmett. I'm not talking to him. There's no point. You heard him. He said he'll listen to you. Well, at least give it a shot. Bueno, parece que va medio bien esto. Father, son, you've never understood the first thing about me. All you want to do is step on me, squelch my natural instincts. Understand. You don't know what it's like Let's to be young. Do you don't know what it's You're like to have dreams, to have ambitions, to so great and so powerful that they've got a life of their own. Don't you dare hang on for dear life while they gallop on wins. where they must. Don't this is America, Pop. And in America, a person doesn't have to do what his father did. Isn't that why you came to America? To live where there wouldn't be so many rules? Well, we talked. Are you happy? Bueno, parece que no funciona mucho la negociación. Please, you gotta get out of Emmett's way. I have yet to hear a compelling or even coherent reason why. See, Your Honor, it's just that this demo is so important to Emmett. A childish kerfuffle. He'll forget all about it in two weeks' time. That's what I'm afraid of. And it's just... Stubborn, willful, single-minded, incorrigible, and obsessed. Okay, but if you look at it from the right angle, those traits are kind of... good. That may be your angle, Sonny, but I'm not so sure it's the right one. Make no mistake. Those are traits that lead to trouble. He gets them from his mother. Look, Your Honor, you don't see it, but there's an awful lot riding on Emmett's demonstration. All the more reason why I've got to put a stop to it. Look me in the eyes, young man. I expect you know my son pretty well by now. Do you seriously think his exhibition is going to be a success? See? Sure. Uh, sure it will. You know as well as I how it'll end. Disaster! Maybe, maybe not, but even if it does, 
I mean, isn't Emmett entitled to make a few mistakes? Emmett has exceeded his quota for one lifetime. It's my job as his father to see to it. There are no more mistakes. Emmett's just trying to make a name for himself. Maybe things were different when you were a kid, but nowadays you, you gotta take chances. What do you know about taking chances? Try moving to a strange country where you don't speak the language with only two dollars to your name. You? You bet your socks, me! And I made out all right, too. How'd your dad feel about it at the time? Papa? He was fit to be tied. He called me a disobedient little... Hey, ve, tonto. <laughs> so your father didn't approve of you coming to America? Well... Papa never really understood the younger generation. He came around a bit in the end, but by then it was too late to. Tell him I'll listen to him. I want to listen to him. If he wants to talk. Bueno, a ver, parece que... Emmett, prepare to play peacemaker again, Pollyanna. I really think he means it this time. He won't listen to me. He says you get your stubbornness from your mother. Well, that's the limit. He's not satisfied with insulting me. He's got to drag my mother through the dirt, too. <laughs> 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 <Mother> <laughs> is it all like me. She's gentle and sweet and endlessly patient. If anything, I'm more like... Oh, skip it. Deep down, he's just worried about you hurting yourself. No amount of physical pain could equal the pain he's already inflicted to my spirit. Bueno, me falta esto para decirle. A ver, ¿qué acabas de decir? You were starting to say that you're like... Skip it. Can it be that you and your dad? No, next subject. Emmett, stop being a dope. You've got your pride, okay, I, I get it. And so does he, but... What's the harm in trying to make peace with the guy? He's your family, and family's important. Sometimes it's, well, even more important than we realize. May I come up? So, you think my new invention is a disaster waiting to happen? Yes, yes I do. And I'm here to say, if any son of mine is going to make of himself a public disaster, I insist on being there to support him. <laughs> Pop! You're gonna change your tune once you see this baby go airborne. You see, the force field generated by the static accumulator... Marty, give Trixie the signal. We're ready for liftoff. Oh, good. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for bearing with us through that unavoidable delay. And now the Hill Valley Expo is pleased as punch to present Mr. Emmett Brown and his electrokinetic levitator. Bueno, pues a ver cómo sale el experimento. Tiene que salir mal, no puede salir bien del todo. Si no va a cambiar muchas cosas para el futuro, ¿no? Digo yo, si se inventa algo así. Bueno, parece que se ha estrellado. Hey, hey, stop. Get back here. Ah, ha robado el coche, Edna. Madre mía, esta se va a ir al futuro. ¿Estás bien? Ay, que fecha se vaya al presente. Y no va a cambiar todo otra vez. No, no vayas más cerca. ¡Go away! 
Dice, lo ha atropellado. Oh my god, Doc. Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. I'll, I'll get, I'll get help. Newspaper. Periódico. You mean? Oh. Gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh, I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. Bueno, eh, creo que la lía parda, ¿no? Con el invento. Tag. <risa> Marty, have you been out here the whole time? Damn it. Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. And if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. Tienes que ver Frankenstein, tío. If we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! And you're you're not discouraged? Discouraged? By what? You mean what happened in there? Oh, that was a learning experience. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? Sí. It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh, I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? <laughs> Un poquito. It was uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how? Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. There's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Uh, please, Emmett, don't ask What's any... What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Eh, uh, bueno, venga, va. <laughs> Here goes. What's that? An explanation. But you've got to promise me, don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett, where are you, my son? I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. Wait, I will see you again, right? Esperemos que sí. I guarantee it. 
<risa> bueno, hay que buscar a Edna y a Deloria. ¿Quién me va a venir? No, Edna, madre mía, no, 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 hay que esperarme. Pero no puede haber otro de Loria, o tiene que ser Edna. Hey, it worked. Ah, no es mal. Vale, ¿y dónde está la, la otra Edna con el otro de Loria? So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. Bueno, tengo que vuelto a la normalidad. Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. Only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? <laughs> Came to rescue you. Teenage me. No, you, you, but then teenage you got mixed up in it. See, you were in jail and. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies. Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my. Where is he? Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. You see my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his papa in an early grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah, he, he's married the wrong grandma. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Holy crap, uh, Doc, I'm gonna disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of. That car! Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well, Wait, and a Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it, it made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Great Scott! Claro, he does DeLorean. Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Uh, guys. Do you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. <laughs> Pero que ha hecho la tiesta. <laughs> <laughs> Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. How? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. 
Look, maybe you can help us. Ah, este se supone que es mi bisabuelo. No sé, si el otro era mi abuelo, este es mi bisabuelo, ¿no? O... o es mi abuelo, pero por parte de mi madre, ¿no? Me perdí un poco. A ver, ¿dónde está Hill Valley? Looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. When did Hill Valley go away? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then, whatever it was, it must have happened at least 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who can tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. Bueno, algo hizo con el coche que hizo que todo el mundo se fuera de la ciudad y al final desapareció la ciudad o algo así, ¿no? Me ha parecido a mí entender. Can I drive? Mary Pickford. <laughs> Los restos del DeLorean. Vaya tela. <ríe> Esto no me lo esperaba yo. Que pasa algo así. Doc, it's a... Mary Pickford. A blacksmith sign. I wonder if it's from Doc's old shop. Me he guardado el letrero entero en el bolsillo. Venga, va por Dios. <ríe> Guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Look. Estos son piezas de coche aquí colgadas, ¿o qué? Es que lo pulas está. Bueno, vamos a intentar entrar a la casa a ver qué nos encontramos. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. A ver, Doc, ¿me hablas ahora antes de entrar a la casa o entro? What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Vale, vamos a la casa, a ver. Step away from the cabin. ¿Ah? 
Hostia, la vieja, las periódicas. <risa> We were wondering if you could tell us. I don't talk to hooligans. I'm a very friendly sort. That, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to. Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Yo no quería hacer eso, pero bueno. Hey, Mr. ¿Cómo estás? Si le digo soy Sonic Croc, ¿qué se va a poner? Echar una loca. Si le digo que soy este, también. Voy a decirle que soy Martin McFly. Marty McFly. That's a foolish name. And I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? I am interested in You knowing. interviewed me once, back when you were young. Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is... I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Okay. Okay. Entonces que toco otra vez el hilo. What? It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th, 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see. Uh, well, uh, Where's my inventory? <laughs> Pero al viejo De que me servía los carteles esto y la eh, bueno, no sé, vamos a ver Sagat, Emmett Brown, Emmett Brown. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. It can't be, Emmett. Yes, Edna, it's me. Turned around. Have I been dreaming or stay there? 
It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Que nos haga una escopeta o algo y nos pegue un tiro. Darling, you've come back. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Oh. Cosita. Snookums. Oh, you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um... Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh... What is it? I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Vale, que tengo que hablar con ella, ¿no? Ahí va, pista, o sea, acaso, a ver. Claro que lo sé. <laughs> Here's something that'll make you remember. Like to remember? Who are you? What are you doing in my yard, you hooligan? No, Edna. No yard. What? This is Emmett speaking. It's October thirteenth, nineteen thirty-one. Yes. But something's about to happen. Oh yes, something big. But what? Better not talk to her directly. Break the spell. Maybe this will take you back. Back where? I don't want to go back. Stay in the moment, Edna. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. A ver. Tengo la planta. Tengo la planta. Sí. Ajá. Vale. Entonces sí. No, I don't think I ever asked you why you burned down all those speakeasies. Why? Because no one else was doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. <laughs> it was a trick. I was framed. Oh, he's after me! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him! Well, no use in holding back now! Let's see what this baby can do! And... Here it comes! Yes? Here what comes? I, uh... I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, come to think of it... How can I be expecting something unexpected? Uh, oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Va a impulsar la historia antes de que salga del trance. Vale, pues muy bien, pero cómo? A ver, una pista.
que toco la alarma. A ver. I'm being transported. Where? Back. Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens, can it be? It is. Is what? Grandfather, big as life. Marshal James Strickland came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No. I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter. I'm not even sure it is a man. This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Better find a way to bring back Marshal Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. <risa> una mirada a su ventana refrescará tu memoria. Había una foto. Ventana, a ver. Edna's grandfather, Marshall Strickland. That's the same picture I saw in Edna's apartment way back in the future. Vale, muy bien. Y... ¿De qué me sirve? Hay un gorro aquí, voy a ponérmelo. Sombrero de Edna. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Se lo pongo al cactus, el sombrero. A ver. Nice fit. Looks like a Strickland to me. Like my little brother, perhaps, but not like my grandfather. Grandfather was much more uh, shaggy. Vale, tengo que usar la escoba, creo, también. A ver. Oh, grandfather, how well you look. How well everything <laughs> looks. <laughs> how does everything look? Tell me. It's a bit rustic, to be sure, but all the buildings are so sturdy and well kept, and the young people of Hill Valley, they're so virtuous and upright. So unlike the degenerate specimens from the 20th century, and I know the reason why. Why? They haven't yet fallen prey to the vices of booze and debauchery. They are still in a state of innocence. I think I could learn to like living here. <gasps> But who's this? Who? This big lout swaggering up the street. Lips curled in an insolent sneer. He's a newcomer to Hill Valley. Uh, Danny. Beauregard. Beauregard. Danny. 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 Yes. Good guess. Look at him. Acting like a big shot. Throwing his money around. Stolen money, no doubt. Why can't they see through him? The two-bit phony! And now his plan becomes clear. He's bought a plot of land in town. He's going to put up a... A... A, a what? I don't know. It's something I don't like. Something evil. This is the key to our mystery. We've got to get her memory back in the groove. Vale, el cartel este el salón. It's an old saloon sign. Looks like it's been through a few bar fights. ¿Y dónde lo pongo el cartel? Se lo enseño. A ver. 
Maybe this will take you back. Please, Marty. Don't interrupt the trance. Vale, va a ser el cartel, pero dónde lo pongo? La letrina, ya, yo qué sé, esto no hay que ponerlo, podría haber ido probando, pero bueno. Talk about a watering hole. A saloon? In Hill Valley? Oh, he can't do that. Grandpa, you can't let him do it. You can't let that snake ruin paradise. Well, if they're all too blind to stop him. I'll just have to take the law into my own hands. Quemó el pueblo. Está loca esa ya verá. Never opens its doors. I'll. I don't know what I'll do, but I'll do something. Something very conclusive. Quemó el pueblo. La loca. Está. Vale, ahora qué tengo que hacer. Were you expecting anything uh, in particular? I wasn't expecting you. Hey, no, a ver. I wonder what's cooking. Cogela. Que pegó fuego a la letrina. Va a ser un poco salvaje esto. No, you're doing it all wrong. It'll never burn like that. First, we'll need some kerosene. Apply it liberally to the building site. No sense in being parsimonious. And now, watch. Isn't it beautiful? The devil. Andy were consumed by the fires of righteousness. <laughs> burn, you sucker! Burn! She was never this passionate when we were dating. Uh, oh. What is it, Andy? Is it the fire? Turn away! Don't look. It's not staying in the saloon, is it? It's spreading to the other buildings in Hill Valley. My intentions were pure. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. But it did happen like this. And you've been repressing it all these years because you can't stand to admit that you're... A hooligan. I'm a hooligan. <laughs> <laughs> did I lay it on too thick? Here's the story. Black and white and red all over. Huh. Hill Valley destroyed by fire. Started approximately 2 a.m. By the rocky period incendio de Hill Valley. Of course, I'm not the real criminal in this story. Am I, Mr. Sagan? You set me up for a fall. You and Schmernoff. You made me steal your infernal car. You made me burn down Hill Valley. And now, by the powers invested in me by the town of Hill Valley, I hereby sentence you two criminals to... Hey. You! How much have you heard? Enough for a month's worth of headlines in a Hayesville Herald. Two months' worth if you shoot those fellas. I could shoot you too, you know. But you won't, because that would be against the law. And you never break the law, right? This is your cue to skedaddle. Right. Much obliged. Muy bien. Ahora ya tenemos que ir a... 1876. Bueno, me gusta ir a otra fecha más. Estábamos todos los juegos entre el 31 y el 86. There's Beauregard Tannen's half-finished saloon. Sometime during the next hour, Edna's going to light it on fire and accidentally burn down Hill Valley. I wonder where her DeLorean is. We'll find it later. Right now we've got to stop that fire. I'll go around back, you go through the front. Got it.
Bueno, tenemos que impedir que queme el pueblo accidentalmente. Bueno, llevo tres cuartos de hora, no sé lo que quedará. Voy a dejar el juego aquí y continuamos el otro día, ¿vale? Así es que, pues nada, nos veremos el próximo día. No sé si el próximo día será ya el último vídeo o haré dos. Como no sé tampoco lo que queda. No creo que nos quede demasiado juego, pero bueno. Bueno, sea como sea, nos vemos el próximo día en otro vídeo.